Maybe woes El Nino bring aren't just the high heat, extended dry spells and drought, but also illnesses like dengue, diarrhea, and even cholera as a result of storing water stagnantly in not so secure or safe containers. This report from our Mela Las Moras enlightens us even more towards proper protection. Lady Beth has always been storing water in this large plastic drum as a precautionary measure in case of a sudden water service interruption. She said she's been there and done that so she knows exactly what to do. Nasubukan namin yun yun na wala ng tubig, di namin alam kung saan kami pupunta, kung saan kami mag-iigay, pupunta ka pa sa kabila para mamamasahe ko pa para makiigib lang doon. Yun ang pinakamahirap kaya kailangan mag So ngayon parang mas ready na kayo? Yes. At the lagging hand up presser, infectious disease expert Dr. Ronjin Solante shared a piece of advice for those storing water like Lilibet just to make sure they're doing it right. They should be stored in a very uh, uh, clean container at dapat uh, may takip no, na hindi open at hindi, uh, at the mo, uh, hindi kat ma madalas na kontaminado. Dapat pakuluan din yan, no? especially pag plano natin inumin, pakuluan at least 5 to 10 minutes and then you can consume that. How about green water? Is it also safe to drink after boiling it? Ang ulan is, uh, is uh, uh, exposed water yan siya, no? so it is also contaminated na. No? So ibig sabihin, uh, hindi natin siya pwedeng uh, inumin. Even if we will uh, uh, boil it, talagang hindi siya good for drinking. Panghugas lang talaga ang tubig ulan. Earlier, the Department of Health has also warned the public against various diseases which the public can catch amid the threats of El Nino like dengue and reminded everyone to take extra care. Marami tayong water containers na yun ang magiging breeding places ng mga lamok. At may iba pa yan, Madami Secretary, pa. yung cholera, binabanggit yes, po natin yeah. yan at diarrhea. Eh, sana wag naman tayo magkaroon ng cholera sapagkat ang tendency ng mga tao, Secretary, ay kumuha ng tubig na maaaring hindi safe yung water source po nila. So, contaminated water supply. So, babantayan din po yan ng kagwana ng kalusugan. Meanwhile, apart from its impact on the health sector, the government is also closely monitoring the possible effects of El Nino on the agricultural sector. According to House Deputy Speaker Camille Villar, as early as now, the authorities should already prepare to extend assistance to farmers whose livelihoods are at risk. Meanwhile, for agri Partilist Representative Wilbert Lee, he highlighted the need to ensure the welfare of our farmers with the country's food security in mind. Meleles Moras for the nation.